G'day everybody and welcome back to Reactor Gaming with Chris and James and welcome back to the Sons of Forest. We are here today with you to show you the top six lake build locations. Now these are our personal opinions. They what? may not be everybody's. That's not a lake. Who said we're starting here, James? Oh, sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Does this look like a lake to you? It looks like a pond. There's a dead body in there. That's actually more of a puddle. And there is a corpse in there, yeah. Great area, though, if you need um, some pots and stuff, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's got uh, a lot of, um, ooh, meds. Yes, that's what you need. Mm. James dies a lot in games, just so everyone knows. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Every <laughs> Let's head over to number six. Alrighty, number six. Now, everybody, we're going to be putting up maps for everybody to see. So that way you know exactly where we're going to be. So this one is the, I wouldn't say the least favorite of ours. It's a good one. It's just yes, it, not yes. our favorite. Now, most people that have been watching the channel for a while, they will know exactly which one our favorite is. Or do you? Dun, 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 dun. Do, do, do. do you know? Most people will know, but they might yeah. be surprised. They'll probably this be is, right. They'll probably be right. Yeah. This but, is where you had your um your uh, castle build? Correct. Pretty much my first castle build was right here on this flat little bit here. Uh, somewhat flat. Uh, we just we just film, uh, finished uh, doing a base review. And it was right here. Yeah. Good spot. Plenty of animals, heaps of deer, heaps of fish, heaps of little creatures, like these little squirrels running around here. Uh, what else? We got big cannibal camps. So if you're looking for an area that has lots of cannibal camps, this is probably your the place you're going to get hit the most. But yeah. if you're building on the lake, at least three out of the four months of the year, you will be safe. Unfortunately, this lake does freeze like most of them. There will be yep. two that we will be showing you that never freezes. That's yeah. where most people, I believe, if you're doing smaller builds, you're going to love these little places, I tell you what. Yeah. But this one here is really, really good. It's deep. We do also have a nice waterfall down here leading down to another cannibal camp, and then you also have the handgun over here, not far away, just in the um, life raft over there, the little orange bit. Yep. Yep. And um, another key factor about this area is uh, you brought up the... Um, the pistol mm -hmm. we are very close to two other main things one is the shotgun is just over there over the other side behind you yep just up there and and the food bunker is off to your uh, about one o'clock from where you are yep. there not far away so a lot yep. of good locations there's supplies somewhat around here you'll find the camps down there that'll have a little bit of supplies little crates and stuff like that you got a really really close one just here where go? Oh, there it is. You got some tubs and things. I don't think the tubs respawn anymore. No, no, no. But you will have like ammunition and stuff like that more than likely. Like I believe these ones here. Some shells, flares. Oh, usually flares in there. Tape. Uh, that sort of stuff. I'm not sure if they respawn yep. either. I'm hoping they do, but I can't remember if they do or don't. But anyway, that's uh, number six. Let's move over yep. to number five. Alrighty, number five. Now this is... Probably one of the most gorgeous lo locations in the whole game. I absolutely yeah. love it here. If you didn't want to build on the water, you could build around here. It's just... I can't explain it. I don't know why, Tinkle, but this is like... Tinkle. It's like one of my favorite places in the whole game. It's... Yeah. This lake will not freeze. So any time of year, you will have fish. Probably the most oh. important part of this entire place. Yeah. You got waterfalls. You have a massive camp just up here as well. Uh, not that big, actually. I thought it was bigger than that. But these were yeah, these I, are very active, very active camps yeah, around here. Active. You will get a I, lot of enemies for, enemies around from all over the place yeah. coming here to find you. But that's pretty much the entire game, isn't it? Yeah, um, I've tried removing water and all that sort of stuff here. It cannot be done. No, nah. doesn't work. You can't remove the waterfalls here, I believe, as well. No. If I remember, uh, was yep. it this one? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was this one that had the waterfall issue. But yeah, yeah lakes will not be removed here because it's not technically a lake. 
because it's a moving body of water. That's why it doesn't yeah. freeze. It's more yeah. of a river sort of thing, but I, I don't know. I'd classify it as a bit of a lake, wouldn't you? Yeah. 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 It's not it's- very deep. It's very simple to build in. Like, it's pretty shallow, really. But it will um, keep your friends away, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind that even though it does not freeze, when it comes winter, the fish don't... It doesn't happen... They, they don't come at all in winter. Oh, they don't? I thought they were just very minimal. No, no. They don't come. For the entire winter, they do... It's just like um, when you build out on the um, on the ocean out on the shore out there you could have uh fish fish traps in the water but as soon as it's winter you've got no fish that seems until, until summer i yeah. think it just minimizes how much there are like during winter during up the rivers and stuff you will see uh very yeah, little yeah you'll see yeah. very little of them there but there are still a small portion but i could be wrong so maybe disregard the fish thing so listen to what James has said because I might be wrong. I don't want to take the heat for that one. All right, let's move over to number four. Number four is this gorgeous area. I've personally built a massive town around this entire lake. I've also done a big waterfall build here. Yeah. You remember that one, James? Yeah, that was the uh, night. Oh, the the uh, mansion or whatever, and had the beer garden at the back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. It yeah. was a right pain in the ass to build here, but I loved it. Yeah. Once again, full of fish. It does freeze, but you have mooses, moose, 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 moose. <laughs> mooses, moose uh, year Speaking around here devil. as well. There's one right there. So they're going to be your, probably your biggest enemy right around here. I don't yeah, think moose. there's any major cannibal camps around here, but... It does get pretty big, and there is another waterfall here as well. But the best thing is you can access one of the... Um, now, this one's the Golden Armor and one of the artifacts, artifacts. are in this yeah. cave system here as well. Yeah, yeah. So good location. Once again, it does freeze. Plenty of fish, plenty of food. Uh, Loot-wise, is very minimal around here because we are starting to get up in elevations. Pretty much just up here, it's all snow. So yeah. it's, um, yeah, not the best for loot or resupplying, stuff like that, but it is a really beautiful area to build. Mm. Once you level out a lot of these trees here, it's decently flat on most areas mm. once you find the right area. But, yeah, these are decently flat along here, so they're going to be great. I actually personally love just building in here. Yeah. Awesome Me, little bit. I like to build actually on the lakes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't find it challenging enough. I like the flatness. <laughs> I, I like the trees. James is a water builder. I'm a bush builder. I love being immersed in the forest. Like what's better than being in here and all this greenery and then looking on the water? That's And then turning around and seeing that nice white mountain. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's move over to number three. Number three. I kind of get a little conflicted with this place. Oh, I yeah. still think this is probably should be more like number two, personally. But we agreed on number three on this one because well, I don't know why we agreed on number three on this one. It's just a beautiful, beautiful place. Mm. You build right here. Big old build right here with a jetty out. Yep. Look at the mountains. Look at the trees. You got four Pitcher, waterfalls yep. coming right into this one area here. Full yep. of fish, yep. full of cannibals. You got yep. rabbits here. Uh, no skunk, but you do have rabbits, which if you're using the rabbit hutches, this is a really good location for it. If anyone remembers the um, rabbit build we did here. Yep. With the big open um, sort of build. It was like a big open roof thing. And um, a lot of raccoons. There is a lot of raccoons, a lot of food around here. Uh, as for supplies, there is, there is, but it's a bit of a hike. Yeah, it's a bit of a hike. Not the best location for supplies, but I think that more than makes up for the scenery. You got plenty of water. Like the the river's coming down into the into the lake here, even though it's frozen. Yeah, you've still got water supply. Yep. 
Yep. Oh, which is good. De definitely freezes, which is good in a way if you want to build on it without using the blueprints, obviously. I would yeah. personally probably wait for it to freeze or freeze it yourself. But yeah, yeah gorgeous, gorgeous area. All right, let's say that over number two. Number two. Once again, a beautiful location. It's just so gorgeous, this game. I just can't get over it. Now, this does not freeze. You can build over the rocks as well, which is really cool. You've got a beautiful waterfall here. You can actually build right up. I would personally build right up. So you've got a big place and it links straight up and you've got another lake bit up here. So you've got a quite a big location. Really good for resupplies. These actually drop some distance supplies here constantly. Yep. Rope, 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 and cloth. Yeah, a lot of rope, a lot of cloth. You, I, I always find a lot of wire and everything like that here as well. Yeah. Bits and yeah. pieces like that. Abundance with life, uh, wildlife. Cannibal yep. activity. Probably, yeah, but it's still probably one of the best ones I've seen. Mm. I don't know why, but there is, yeah, there is a camp. There's camp everywhere. But yeah. when we build here, oh, actually, hang on. Eh, it's hard to say which has got more activity, which doesn't, because most of this game, you're going to find activity one way or another. You know what I mean? Yeah. They'll come they looking you. for you. They'll look. They'll come yeah. looking for you. So it's hard to say, but I found it pretty peaceful here compared to some of the other places we've been. Mm. Yeah. Anything else you want to add, James? Um, you've got a good save point here, so you can you don't have to worry about a, 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 when you're building to start off here. Yep, that's a good point. You just, you've got uh, good resupplies. Um, here you've got a, a, a bloody night fee, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you are close to a lot of um, bunkers. Or is there a three D printer around here somewhere? Let me have a quick look on the GPS. Not really, not around here. Um, although I can't actually. No, there is. There is one not far away. It's not looking up on my GPS yet because I haven't done all the other ones. Yeah. It's still a brand new game, this one here. But there is... Yeah, eh. this. yeah, it's not far away. You do have a few cave entrances around here as well, as you can see on the GPS. I don't think there's but, anything um, else, was there? No, no. It's, it's got good re uh, re respawning items here. Yep. So, you know. And v, I, I've V's always here. Hello, V. Yeah, I've already... This is one of my favourites. Yeah, that's great. It's an awesome, awesome area. 100%. Yep. All right, let's move over to number one. Number one, by no surprise, the biggest lake on the entire game. It is yep. the best place you can build on this game, without a doubt. If you want to build on the water or if you want to build on the land, it doesn't matter. This place is awesome. You've got a fairly decent-sized little island here as well. Does freeze during the winter, but that's not a big deal. You got moose everywhere, and they always like sort of sleeping on the bottom of the water here. Plenty yeah. of fish. You got every, pretty much every animal known to this game will be here. Now, this is the only one that we've picked on the east side of the island because the east side of the island, you know, eh, it's a bit shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not the best place to build, generally speaking, unless you're on this area here by the lake. Now you have yeah. an entrance for the is it the entertainment bunker here? Yep. Uh right yep. here. Yeah. You You've got, got blue a lot of blueprints around here. Yeah, you do. You got a lot of blueprints. You also got usually some articles of clothing in the helicopter. I believe it's yep. one of Virginia's ones. You've got ammunition on the ground. There's two there that I can see at the moment. And this bunker here has a shit ton of goodies. A shit ton of goodies. Yeah. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of cannibals. I said lots too many times. How many? Lots. <laughs> okay. This is probably the highest, the most active place for cannibals yeah. I've ever seen in this game on this side of the island. They just keep coming. They just keep coming. You also have a cave entrance right here as well. Now, this one this is, is for the shock, uh, the uh, rifle. Uh, rifle, yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 That's yes. a rifle location. I believe there's some other stuff in there as well. Can't yep. remember off the top of my head. It's been a hot minute since being in there. But it's just huge. You can yeah. build the biggest stuff right here. As a matter of fact, we do. Yeah. This is my go-to, only because of James, though. Yeah. It's James, when I first met him, he was doing big builds on here on the water. I've like, never seen anything like it. 
and it's become definitely one of my favorite places. Not so much on the water for me. Once again, I'm more of a land builder, but yep. I love building along here. This We just did our yeah. most recent build just here, actually. Yep. Right along this rocky bit right here, and it turned out beautiful too. That was a lovely build, wasn't it? Yes, it was my favorite. Was it your favorite? No, there's a dig at you there, mate. Uh, okay. <laughs> They're all my favorites. They're all my children. You know what I mean? They're all just, they're all fantastic yep. at the end of the day. They're all great. I think that's going to pretty much cover it, eh, James? Oh, uh, yep. I think this works. I think that's about it's, it. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's, it's got a lot of stuff around here. And also, uh, it's quick access to the um, stuff up in the, in the um, mountains there. Like the, there's uh, blueprints up in there. Yep. There's uh, an array of. I know there's a lot of hang gliders around this sort of area. No, oh, it's just got That's everything. Because, yeah. It's got everything. Yeah. This is a great location. Like yeah. only time I'd build on the east side of this island is when I'm here. Mm. Otherwise, yeah, not 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 for me. Okay, I think we're gonna leave it there. Thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully this helpful was helpful for people. If you could please like and subscribe, or leave a comment down below. That would be awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.